The objective of this lesson is to have custom labels that we can use for our data series, like here, like for the 179. So that could be a headache if your boss asks you to have something custom on your chart. Let me teach you a trick to be able to do this. So first of all, we copy those three items and we put them here. And then let's assume that we want to start with the percentage insight. So to do the percentage, I do equal carrot divided by the total. And for total, I'm just gonna put the dollar sign before the five, because this way, if I drag the formula in both directions, I'm gonna have the right number. Now let's assume that we want to add those percentages, put them here. So I click on my data label and I can say value from cells. I click here. This is my carrot. I click and I say, okay, then I remove the value. If you don't have this window, you just have to click on your anything in the chart. You right click, you do format data label. This window will appear again. If I click anywhere, I do format, the window appears. I can click on this arrow to select what I want to format in my chart. So now we got 32. Very good. But assume your boss wants to put the number, then in brackets, he wants to have 32%. That makes it more complex. So how do we do this? Let's start with a bit of text formatting. First, if I want to format my text, the 32%, I want to format it as a text because the problem is if I come and I say, okay, I want to have a bracket, then I want to have and, and then I want to have another and and close the bracket. So I'm adding brackets around this. The problem you have is that this 32% becomes 32.34, etc. So it's not good. I need to make it with a text format so I can write text. Then what is my value? My value is this over this. And then we have the dollar sign here. Then what is my format? You can go on Google to find the different types of format, but I'm gonna use this one, 0% in double quotation. It means I want a percentage with no decimal points. Then I close the bracket and I say enter. And as you see, this became a text. So I can use this trick. I can use it here instead of this one. If I do this, I get my 32. On top of this, I would like to add the number. So how do I get the number? I have it here and I use an AND. So you see 251 and then 32 in brackets. So this is good, but this is cluttered. So what if I want to have this on another line? I click here, I click after this double quotation and then I press alt I keep alt pressed and then I press enter on the keyboard what happens is everything goes to the line if you enter you press enter you will get this to the line automatically this format is linked to this format so I'm gonna just drag the formula then you get this now let's add this for my other data series I click on it sales from value this is my apple then I say, okay, I remove the value. And then here, I'm gonna do the same thing. This is my banana. And I remove the value. The problem here is that it's cluttered, as you can see. So what I could do is either make the graph or the chart bigger, or I can just decrease the font size. So for example, I can make it seven, I can make it seven here to be consistent and I make it seven here to be consistent. And here is how you do it. I am not personally in favor of this custom labeling, but if you have to do it, this is one way to do it.